welcome back to the show. Let's get straight on and get my next guest out. They have sold an incredible 100 million records. <laughs> this is why. Look at this. <laughs> Favourite band, it's the best mode. Here they are. Coming up, fellas. Oh. I'm sorry, David. I didn't expect to meet under these circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> well, I apologise for the camera. Very nice. Very I can nice. only say sorry. Oh. <laughs> although, although these look ridiculous, I'm sure you've worn worse on stage, haven't you? Particularly you, Marty. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's never looked that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of work to look this bad. Hey, uh, I just said the statistic there, and I didn't realise quite how big a band you'd been. I knew you were huge all over the world, but 100 million uh, records sold, that's pretty incredible, isn't it? What's the... It's a nice round figure. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> how, you know, 30 years you've been together, isn't it? So, at 30 years, do you hang around much off stage? Do you spend much time together? Do you socialise ever, or is that now something you avoid doing? Never. <laughs> <laughs> we see so much of each other, you know, when we're working, you know, and we, we live in different places now, so... Where, where do you all live, then? Where do you live in the world? Where do I you live, live in? I live here in London. OK. Martin? <laughs> I live in Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, California. <laughs> um, I live in New York. OK. <laughs> so that right there says a little bit about the different personalities. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's... Yeah, New York and London, they're two great cities. Yeah, Santa Barbara's really Hold on, different. were you just dissing <laughs> mine, then, so...? <laughs> no, I mean, I lived in California as well for a good... I lived there for seven years. But you probably don't remember much I of that period, really do you, that. David? Because no, I know no, you, really. you had a period where... But that must have been tough for them, cos you guys were... I don't know how much you were involved in the excesses that Dave got himself into. Were you equal, kind of fellow travellers in that, or, or were you more on the straight and narrow? We took party into quite an extreme... You could say, yeah. but you you <laughs> actually you 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 were clinically dead, weren't you? At one for stage? a couple of minutes, so apparently at one point, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what happened then? I mean, that but, wasn't on stage, was it? I don't really remember much about it. <laughs> okay, I know you don't remember much about it, but I mean, it was this was... big white light, and it, I... no, did you? Did no. you, you didn't see. <laughs> but so what? This was drugs, was it? Was what? This was drugs. What do you mean? Like you haven't heard that word before? <laughs> Yeah. A bit late to come the innocent now. <laughs> What's that you're offering me, sir? <laughs> yeah, what have we got? Those trousers are lovely, by the way. Um, yeah. Well, now that's behind you yeah. by many years. You've been clean for how many years now? A uh, long time, yeah, 15 or something like wow, that. Wow, that's pretty incredible. That's yeah. incredible. <laughs> 15 years. Yeah, and it's a long time, and, uh, you know, the quality of my life has changed... Like, like, beyond what I could imagine. I mean, I, look, we have a fantastic life. We get to make music together. We go on these stages. There's, like, you know, hundreds of thousands of people that come and see us during a tour, yeah. and we're still doing this. Yeah. You know, it's like... And you must still love doing it, don't you? I mean, it yeah. must still be a buzz. Is it? I, I think you're, you're about to it. kick off another tour now. Delta Machine is the new album, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you've heard it already. And this is the big vinyl, double vinyl. That's the way to go, isn't nice, it? Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. And this is the tour, of course. Uh, where do you kick it off? Um, we start in May, beginning of May. Whereabouts? It's, it's... In Israel, believe it or not. In Israel? Totally. Yeah. And you have a big, uh, big following there? I certainly do. Wow. Where's the most kind of, uh, you know, no, no, obviously you don't want to say you've got great fans all over the world, but where are they really crazy for Depeche Mode? What part of the world do you think is the, the maddest? Pretty much most of the world, <laughs> apart from this country, really. <laughs> <laughs> stop we've going, remained very stop humble. Stop going on about it, <laughs> suck it up and have another hit, then we'll have you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Martin knows the score. <laughs> uh, OK, so uh, d how is it to write new stuff? How do you find that? Because you've been writing hits, you've been writing successful albums now for 30 years. Uh, where do you look for inspiration now? Is it different places? You go to the same place inside yourself? I think Dave once said I've only ever written uh, three songs, but I've just... You know, three different subjects, and I've just rehashed them over and over again. Oh. Uh, OK, <laughs> and Dave, what are the three subjects that Depeche Mode return to for their inspiration? Um, Death. 
pain, suffering. <laughs> That's about it, really. That's your thing, right? <laughs> yeah, pain and suffering. Have, do you write kind of cheerful songs that you give to maybe, I don't know, Kylie or someone else to perform? <laughs> there must be some brightness inside you that, you that comes out musically. I think usually by the time I get to the chorus, I sort of, like, dismiss them. <laughs> <laughs> and when you write a song like uh, Personal Jesus, which is one of my favourites, when you write a song like that, you, you must have a feeling, OK, this is something special, this is going to sound great in the stadium. Do you get excited? Do you rush to play it to the other guys? We, we were actually worried about this track, though, because we didn't think it would do as well as we th thought as it actually did. You know, so the... Or you yeah. were worried. Were you I was worried. Yeah. But then Enjoy the Silence, everything. for instance, which was the second single to, on Violator, was a... a we knew straight away that'd be a hit. Uh, and, and how do you express this dissatisfaction? Do you, is it dealt with in a very kind of mature way, or do you wind up? I ever just said it's you? really bad. It's really bad. That's generally what he says yeah. about everything. Oh. <laughs> so you, you're, you're, you remind me a bit of Eeyore from the Pooh books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't like us in Britain. <laughs> they won't play that on the radio. That sounds, like <laughs> sounds like me. That sounds like me. That's a very good You've already got it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a very niche impersonation that I can do there, isn't it? What time is dinner? Uh, <laughs> Get off this couch and play the songs when we go home. <laughs> you only want to talk about you dying. <laughs> <laughs> when you came today, no you, when you flew back in the UK, yeah. Yeah. you go through metal detectors. Yeah. Is there anything on you or about you in an unusual place that you need to alert the hard-working customs officials about so they don't get a nasty surprise? No. So you're clean of Not anymore. You used to have. Not anymore, yeah. And what did you, when did you? Wh what? Exactly. No, well, it wasn't what, kind of like what it is now. When did you... And when you did... Mm. And it was... Where was it? Down below? Yeah, in an unusual place. In which of the two unusual places? In between. In between <laughs> yeah. the front and the back? Mm -hmm. Port and starboard? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somewhere and around was there. this a bell or a ring or a, a stud? What was it? Ring. A ring, mm -hmm. a ring. And was there... Did you ever use the ring? Was it handy for no, carrying, not really. carrying <laughs> shopping? I'll tell you a funny story. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. Um, in New York, my son in New York, um, actually, when he was very little, my stepson, Jimmy, one time was very... He was, like, little and whatever. We was, I was taking the shower or whatever to come out of the shower and... I don't know. For some reason, he came up and asked me, you know, why do you have an earring in your butt? <laughs> <laughs> and it was a good question, so I was like, I don't know. And, 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 and that's, that's when it came out. Isn't that the question everyone wants to hear from their children? <laughs> <laughs> and I was... I agreed, and uh, he was smarter than me, and... Uh, and is that why you removed it? Yeah, pretty much. It's no longer there? It's no longer there, no. Let's see if you're telling the truth. <laughs> because... <laughs> well, stand up. Doing it this outfit that... makes the whole thing more serious, doesn't it? <laughs> I do have a lot of metal. Okay, let me start. Let's see if these are working first, cos you've got... you've got a zip here. Let... No, no, no. <laughs> the zip. And when it's on nothing, it goes... down to there. That is nothing round there, yeah. And metal again, OK. <laughs> Let's see you. So we've got zip here, so this should read the zip. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it likes that. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> You're clear. OK. OK, let's see what's going on here. You've got a necklace there. Let's see that necklace is... Yeah, that's, that, that likes that. And now let's see you whether... <laughs> I've just got a little more lead in my pencil than other people. <laughs> Do any of you have any piercings? I don't know whether we should ask a young lady, but let's see. <laughs> All clear there, thank goodness. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, <laughs> fellas, I feel... I must apologise for interviewing you with essentially my balls in your face, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but somehow, as you know, that's how an evening winds up. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in saying thank you to Andy, Martin and Dave Depeche Mode, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> thank you, fellas. If you want to go over and get ready to perform, we're going to enjoy hearing you sing right now. Depeche Mode!
Thanks to all my guests tonight, of course. Next week, I'll be joined by one of the greatest stage and screen actors in this country, Sir Ben Kingsley. The star of Emily and the Da Vinci Code, the beautiful Audrey Tattoo will be here. And IBF super middleweight boxing champion, Carl Foch. And we've also got music from the incredible Mercury Award-winning Alt J. But now, performing their new single, Heaven, the one and only Depeche Mode. <laughs>